Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to your 11th JavaScript tutorial. And in our last tutorial, we covered and we finished our conditional statements, which was the switch statement, which I, which was the last one. And now we're going into something different, and we're going to deal with uh, pop-up boxes. And there are there are three types of pop-up boxes, at least. Uh, there's an alert box, a confirm box, and a prompt box. We're going to go over com alert and confirm box first, and prompt box in another tutorial if I don't have time. But um, let's go ahead and begin with alert box. What an alert box is, it's used often if you want to make sure some, some information gets through to the user or gets through to the person that you want to get to. Um, when an alert box pops up, uh, the person that gets the pop-up he, they have to click OK on the pop-up box to proceed. So the basic syntax for alert box, um, usually between the two script tags, and if you haven't already, go ahead and put your HTML tags, your header tags, and your body tags. Uh, some some like similar to mine, so you know what I'm doing and you can out follow with me. But uh, I put a space in between the script tags because that's what we need to do. So I'm gonna put one more space. And the alert box is alert, basic command, and in parameters, you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to type hello, and we'll save it, and we'll run this in our Firefox browser. Give it a minute. Okay, pops up. And of course, you see we get the uh, pop-up box, and it does say JavaScript application on here, and it says hello. So uh, we just click OK, and we're at the page that we need to go. But I don't have a page built, so we don't. Okay, so we have a. You saw an alert box. It uh, just popped up and said hello, and you have to click OK to proceed. So we're going to go through an example of an alert box. So just get rid of this alert right here. Not totally getting rid of it, but um, in your, in between your two script tags, and make sure you have the HTML and header tags and your body tags, of course. Write yours similar to mine, and in between the script tags, write function underscore or no space show underscore alert and just empty parameters. Okay, tab enter down and tab over, and of course write that little I uh, can't remember the name of that and just do that if you guys know the name of these symbols right here just uh, tell me in a comment or video response or whatever just tell me what it is and okay in between those two we're gonna do alert in parameters we're gonna do let's see uh, proceed okay and in between that we've got our alert box and just skip down to this is why I put a space between the body tags because we just need it between the body tags so we're gonna do input and then space type equals uh, button and then on click equals show underscore alert and empty parameters again then value then equals then click me I'm just going to type something random so click me so and then we'll put a space out after the quotation and then we'll do a forward slash and in that bracket and now we're done with this so go ahead and save it whoop and go to run launch in Firefox or whatever browser you're using doesn't have to be Firefox and as you see we get the JavaScript application hello and OK might want to save it first <laughs> sorry and then refresh and then it's gonna come up with this click me and then proceed and okay 
all that is is a button while well, it's supposed to be all you have to do is just click it and then you get to proceed so that's an example of a alert box and I'm just gonna cut this tutorial short so uh, in my next tutorial I'll do confirm box and then after that I'll do prompt box so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial